Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. And today we've got some interesting stuff here. Let me adjust here, as usual, we're not prepared. Uh, we've got the Nissan Fair Lady Rally Type, and it is a Dido 164 scale mini car kit. Um, I've opened up one of these in the past on the channel. They are kind of neat, uh, they're, well, they're weird. They're almost like Kyosho, and I think they might even be made by the same company. I'm not really sure, but Dido, it's kind of like a cheaper Kyosho, but we've got a Fair Lady 240Z, and we've got a Nissan Fair Lady Rally type, so that's pretty neat. A uh, quick look at the card. You can see they got a bunch of other cars here. There's the two that we're going to build here in the bottom. Uh, I have that number 18, Skyline Racing. That's pretty cool. I've got that one. I don't think I have any of the others, but some neat stuff there. And then uh, here's the back of the card. There's some information about the car in the back here. Kind of a cool picture right there of this one. A couple cool pictures of it. And then on the back of this, I got it from there. So I got these from a seller, I think, I think shipped, if I recall correctly, I think it shipped out of Hong Kong is where these came from, uh, I believe. It, it was an eBay purchase anyway, but you know. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna open these up and put them together. Like, the cards are in good shape and everything. They look pretty cool. But we need to open them up and uh, get them together. One of the things I'm trying to do is, like, get an example of whatever, like the first and second gen Nissan Zs, or probably the third gen ones too, from of every single tooling in 164 possible. I'm trying to get at least one example. So I had to check these off of the list. So went ahead searching on eBay for these and picked them up. You get a little tiny Dido screwdriver. It's a JIS screwdriver not to be confused with phillips it's basically the same thing but it's not the same thing it's a jis just so you know it's the japanese um standard one and then we get this thing in essentially four pieces you get the body that looks to be all assembled <clears throat> and uh ready to go with the uh, painted details there and the inserted details here nice clear window or windshield <clears throat> and that's what it looks like inside there so we've got that we've got an interior piece which is actually multiple pieces it looks like together these like little sides the door cards are here um, so this looks like it was actually just pre-assembled. I think the base actually would come off of this interior, but I'm not going to pop it out just for fear of that it might be difficult to get back in. I'm not really sure. So limited edition 2003-2004 Dido, 164 scale Nissan Fair Lady 240Z. Or wait, we have to pop it apart because that's how we get the wheels in. So we will be doing that. And then here are your... Wheels and tires, rubber on a fixed axle, both of them the same length and size. And then, of course, the screw to hold it all together. So let's go ahead and we need to prepare this for the, the wheels. And I want to pop this off of here without doing any damage. The plastic seems to be of decent quality. So it just pops out just like that. There's that piece. And then, of course, we can just set our axles in here. And then the interior can pop right back in. It's got two little pegs that we can uh, kind of pop in here. And it's kind of hard to get. you got to, like, center it and put them both down, like, at the same time so hang on i'm kind of struggling with this just at the angle that i'm trying to hold it at here 
it's kind of a pain actually. And like I said, I didn't want to have to take this because I knew it was going to be dumb to get it back into position. And <clears throat> I think it's just because, you know, I'm struggling because it's on camera. All right, there we go. Now we got a rolling kind of like chassis here. And then this is going to go into the body where the back little piece here slides into a little slot right back there. And you got to kind of pinch in the interior and slide it in back there and then try to press it down. And it's being difficult for some reason. Well, what the heck? Why is it not going in? I thought this was going to be like the easiest model kit that's ever been put together here, and it's giving me trouble. you got to line it up just right, because there is two metal pegs at the top where this is going to snap into, I believe. And for some reason, it's not... It's not lining up, and I'm trying not to just force it here. Hmm. <laughs> Would it be easier to get the interior in first into the body? I was not planning on struggling with this. I thought this was just going to take us a couple seconds, and we'd be looking at the car, but apparently not. Okay, so there's the two little pegs that it goes. Oh shoot! Let's do that. And get that. Wow, this thing does not want to fit in here at all. Why is that being such a struggle? Get the. It's like the things do not line up. What is causing me the problem here, guys? Uh, all right, so now we're going to get into this difficulty where I have to slide this in. I don't think this is going to work. Like this. Nope. We gotta get the interior back out. It's supposed to fit on these two little nubs right here. But it's being difficult. So we'll put this back in. Hopefully we don't struggle this much with the other one. This is kind of your basic uh, 240Z. Nothing too crazy. And um, I was more excited for the Baja one. So hopefully that one gets goes together a little bit easier. All right, we got that in there. We hook in the back. Make sure our it just does not want to go in. Hmm. I mean, do I just screw it in and force it? But it just doesn't want to snap in. It's giving me fits. I'm just going to try to put the screw in to see if we can kind of force it to snap into place. Yeah. There you go. I still feel like it's not like in quite properly. But I think maybe it is actually. I guess it is just supposed to stick out a little bit at the bottom. So yeah, this is in it. Just it's a really tight fit. I'll just tighten down the screw just a little bit more. There. We got her. That's probably about how it's supposed to sit, right? Sits evenly. Pretty good. Rolls. Uh, decent looking 240Z. Maybe not the best that I've seen. Uh, or definitely not the best that I've seen. Kind of a little off in its shape, a little bit. Probably pretty close to 164 scale. And not much of a model kit, though, right? Although we did struggle with it, so there is that. All right, uh, so that's kind of neat. Uh, let's go ahead and get the other one assembled. This is the Nissan Fairlady Rally type. Same sort of deal here. Get another little screwdriver we get our, our wheels we get our interior and we get of course the body and it looks like we get one other piece 
What is this for? Where does that go? Hmm. Let's take a look at the body. A little bit more detail on this one. We get kind of like a Baja racing sort of livery here, like a rally livery. Rally Monte Carlo. So that's pretty neat. Uh, the body, I believe, is the same. It's just accessorized a little differently. It looks like it's the same in proportion. All that stuff is just you get a different bumper piece up front. And I think that's pretty much it. Other, the rest of it's pretty much the same. The interior is a bit different. Oh, this actually covers the screw up front. So that's kind of a neat feature I suppose uh, let's go ahead and we got to take we got to split the interior off of the base of the vehicle so we'll do that real quick and again all the pieces are very uh, tight tolerance here and then the uh, wheels and tires are black rubber again same size axles you could easily you know swap parts around with these if you if you wanted to if you wanted to do a little customization so these would be easy to uh, pull apart and customize. And I say easy, and then I just completely struggle with it, of course. Come on, get in there. There we go. Now we got our little rolling chassis here and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get this in here hopefully it comes in it goes in a little bit easier than the last one did you got to kind of pinch in the sides and then this has got to slide in like that and then this comes down this one snapped right in place no issues whatsoever so that's pretty cool that's how it's supposed to happen i'm pretty sure this one just like you could feel it snap in perfectly so that makes me think the other one's not quite put together right, so I may have to take that apart. I'll do it off camera, though. You guys don't need to suffer through it. All right, so then the screw. The screw does not want to thread in. So we're having all sorts of issues with these, which is just weird. I don't think we have any issues. That does not want to thread in right. I'm going to have to get... A, uh, it's almost like the threads aren't fully cut all the way in. So I am getting creative with a flat head screwdriver here. Good thing is, is once these are together, they're together. And then I don't really have to worry about them ever again. We're going to go ahead and put the, there's a cover here that goes over the screw. Snaps into place. And check that out. Rolls nice. It's a pretty cool looking little Z. This one's really neat. Definitely cooler than this thing. But this is how the base is supposed to fit in. Um, so now I'm seeing that this one is just really not, it's not quite, I don't think it's quite in where it's supposed to be. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. But what do you think about these two little guys? Dido. Dido. If you never heard of Dido, just search eBay for them. You're not going to, you're probably not going to find U.S. sellers that are going to have these. Uh, you just likely will not. And uh, I think they're, they're kind of cool. They're a little cheaper version of Kyosho, sort of, is what they kind of feel like. But this thing rolls pretty decently. And actually, this piece looks really cool. So I'm digging this one. That's a really cool one. Fantastic. So, liking that a lot. This one's okay, too. Just a basic little 240Z. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Just kind of an interesting little oddball video for you today. Uh, so, hopefully you enjoyed that. This will be in the import diecast playlist. And you can check that out. There's all sorts of content in that playlist. All sorts of fun stuff. Some weird stuff. Some normal stuff, you know, if anything from Mini GT, Mino 64, it's all premium stuff, and uh, I would definitely recommend checking it out. All right, thank you guys very much for watching, and have a good day.